What's going on everybody? Um, so this part of the video I'm going to be going over my three tips to bulk effectively. Um, a lot of people, like they think they know what they're doing when it comes to bulking but honestly they really don't. So today I'm going to explain from a coach's perspective the best ways to bulk and how I do it for my clients. Now tip number one is going to be one that I, I hear this a lot, I hear this so much from a lot of people and that is time to get fat on my bulk or can't wait to be chubby on my bulk and honestly you don't need to get fat in a bulk to build muscle. Fat is just a byproduct of a calorie um, surplus. The fat just comes as, a, as like a side product, like it's a byproduct of bulking. It's not like a necessity. Like some people, pe 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 people <laughs> who have really low body fat and struggle to gain body fat, they'll bulk but they'll stay lean and they're gaining muscle. So that's straight evidence that you don't need to like, uh, you don't need to gain fat in order to build muscle. So my first point is, throw the myth out the window that bulking means you have to gain fat because that is just not true at all you don't you don't need to gain fat to build muscle i've said this like four times in the past minute but i just need to reiterate this that people who are trying to do that are just wrong if anyone says that to me i do say to them look you don't have to gain fat in a bulk it's just a byproduct of the calorie surplus that you're in um the muscle and getting bigger and stronger is what you're looking for, not getting chubbier. You might lose a bit of definition here and there, yeah, but that's just part of it. Because um, once you come to cutting or prepping, whatever you're doing, that's going to go away. Then you're going to have, you're going to see the results that you achieved over your bulk. Number two, another tip is um, don't overdo the food. What I mean by this is when the bulk starts, don't go straight into 4,000 calories. You wanna build it up slowly over time. Obviously, depending on your maintenance calories, it's gonna be different from each person because some people might have a fast metabolism, some people might have a slow one. You've got hard gainers and easy gainers and things like that. But for me, in my off season, I was on about 4,000 to 4.5K calories um, a day. So that's not, that's not, a lot compared to some people who would go up to like 6,000 and I know some people that have had maintenance calories of 8k at plate at points in their um, off season um, but that's very extreme uh, so I was on about four and a half k so my point is don't go from eating like 2,500 and then adding on another 1,500 just going straight to 4k because that is gonna, that's not gonna be good because further down the line, how are you supposed to increase your calories more in order to progressively overload in your diet, right? So let, let, for example, let's say you're on two and a half K maintenance, you're keeping your weight, you're looking good, uh, strength is maintained, muscle mass is maintained, maybe going up a tiny bit here and there. Um, when you start your bulk, I boost up to, by about 250 to 300, keep that for two or three weeks, boost up by another 250 to 300 keep that for two three weeks see how you feel if you can get more food in add more food that time and then keep adding food until your appetite goes really if you're not if you're not worried about staying lean just keep adding food until your appetite disappears and when your appetite starts to plateau stop adding food keep it there and then over time you'll become really really sick of it and that's when what I do for my clients is we do a mini cut. So pull back on all the um, pull back on all the food, get your appetite back, and then go again. But after you've done your mini cut phase and you've got your um, you've got your appetite back, don't go straight back to the calories you on. Let's say you lost your appetite at about three thousand five hundred. I'd go back into your diet at three k. You don't want to go straight back in fully. Um, and another point I can add on to this um, second point of the whole video is use your cheat meals wisely. Um, have one or two a week. I mean, I've had three a week, but that's when I really needed to gain quick. That's what it was like two years ago when I was actually minuscule, like tiny. So I needed the calories to bulk up. But um, one or two a week is really good. And I see a lot of people just eat ice cream and that's not it. You need macro dense cheat meals. I'm talking like 
um, burger and fries, a pizza, but make sure there's lots of protein in it, use low fat cheese. Um, have fries with that, and then you can have a small dessert with it just for the extra calories and satisfaction. But it's up to you, it depends on how much you've got to eat. I'd usually cap a cheat meal at about 1600 calories, which is still a lot. Um, if, you can, if you think like a Big Mac from McDonald's is 950 something, something around that. So um, yeah, just use your cheat meals wisely, don't fuck them up, and on to the next point. Now, my third point is going to be talking about training. A lot of beginners, they'll look up to people who have been training for years and years and years and possibly aren't natural. So their training is going to be different to how yours, if you're a beginner, is going to be. So what I'd say for training is make sure you're training each muscle at least two times a week in a bulk. That's going to be just enough, maybe even three times a week for weak body parts. But just enough, do two, because that's going to that's gonna secure growth, really, for the week. And um, what I was talking about with looking up to the wrong people, people who have been training years, they'll know what works for them. Like some people, they'll be doing one body part day, um, each day of the week. And that'll work for them either because they're not natural or because it works for them and they're just blessed and it works for them. Like, um, so train each body part two to three times a week. That'll ensure growth, especially on a bulk, which is the, the whole reason of a bulk is to build muscle so that then you can shred down and show the gains that you've made in that off season. So don't don't go don't train one body part like once a week if you want it to grow. It will grow, yes, doing that, but it won't grow at a sufficient rate that you're gonna be satisfied with. It will take months and months to see a difference. Whereas if you're doing it two to three times a week, it'll take 12 to 16 weeks to see a, a good good difference in that body part now also included in training but on the flip side with cardio um, if you're lean bulking you are more than welcome to do cardio before your workout as a warm-up I wouldn't do that I'd do it afterwards because that's supposedly more beneficial for burning fat and things like that theory around training is that lifting weights um, burns carbohydrates because of the glucose and things like that and then doing cardio after that, your, your carbohydrate stores are depleted, so you have to burn fat when you do cardio post-training. That's the theory, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm a half believer in that, and then half of me lies like, mm, that's bullshit. Same with faster cardio, not too sure that's a thing, I think that could be a myth, but it, it's, it's each to their own, really. So yeah, lean bulk, feel free to do your cardio before your workout, post-workout, or faster in the morning. Or maybe just set yourself a step count throughout the day, like 10 to 12,000 steps a day. That's going to be a good um, like amount of calories burned. So 12,000 calories is, um, sorry, 12,000 steps a day is like 400 to 500 calories burnt around that. That's, a, that's an alright deficit for a lean bulk, especially if you're eating around 4,000, 5,000. 500 deficit a day isn't going to be that detrimental. If you're looking to do like an actual hard bulk, like you're looking to get as big as you can you don't care about the body fat percentage you just want to get muscle you want to get big and strong i just say that you do no cardio apart from training be as inactive as you can you want to you want to keep all those calories you're eating in your body it will make life easy it will make life comfortable but once your appetite starts to slow it is going to become a pain to eat those meals because you're not going to be doing you're not going to be exerting enough energy for your hunger levels to go up so you're going to be you're going to have to force down food um, or you can add in shakes and things like that, but I'd prefer real food if I were you. That, but the only the only disadvantage to going hard, like full hardcore and bulk like that is your cut is going to be a bit harder. Um, you'll have to probably do a body recon stage and then cut. Feel free to do the lean bulk, feel free to do the full god mode bulk, but either way just make sure you're not doing it wrong. Basically guys, what I want you to take away from this video is those three points I've just uh, explained in quite full detail. First one was you don't have to gain fat in a bulk to build muscle, it is just a byproduct of a calorie surplus. The second one is control your food. Don't go straight in heavy with the calories, build it up slowly over time. Make sure your cheat meals are actually beneficial and not just gonna make you fat. And the third point, because I can't get my finger up, the third point <laughs> is uh, with your training, make sure it's tailored to you. Don't don't use the same don't use the same program as an IFBB Pro, don't use the same program as a fitness model that you've been looking at on Instagram, because most likely 
theirs is tailored for them, not for you. Use a program that works for you. Train it, train at least every muscle twice a week, uh, maybe three times a week for those muscles that are lacking and when you bring them up. As long as you do all those three things and maybe implement your own things that are gonna benefit those tips, your bulk will be flying. Um, and one extra thing, the longest I'd, I'd recommend the bulk for is a year. Doing it myself, longer than a year, you're gonna really struggle with food. It's gonna just consist of going up and coming down, going up and coming down in weight, and it is gonna, it is gonna be taxing on your mind after a while because you will wanna be in good shape, you will wanna get shredded at some point. So longest I'd bulk for is a year. Uh, minimum I'd bulk for is three months. I'd honestly, I wouldn't bulk for any less time because there's just no point. My ideal time to bulk would be five to six months before stepping on stage again because I've done that before and I, for me, the progress I can make in that time is pretty good. Yeah, just make sure your timing is properly, is proper correct as well. Just to conclude the video, if any of you are looking for a coach, if any of you are looking to make a body transformation, uh, build muscle, lose fat, or maybe just get in shape so you feel better mentally, because at the moment, mental health is a big thing with lockdown and corona going around, hit me up, send me a DM, and I can explain what my services offer. There's 12 week package or there's online coaching, it's up to you, they all get the same service, but obviously in the 12 week package, your results are gonna come faster, and if they're not unrealistic, that is. Yeah, just send me a DM. I've got clients at the moment that are absolutely smashing it. I'm gonna do a big shout out to them in a minute on my Instagram story. So whoever sees that, props to you. Um, but yeah, either comment on this video uh, and I'll get back to you or send me a DM via Instagram, it's just my name. And we can literally get started as soon as possible. And I'd, I'd love to work with more of you because I absolutely love doing this. I love helping people and I haven't had one client yet that doesn't get results, so things are working. So feel free to hit me up and we can get started with coaching ASAP. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the three tips about how to bulk properly, and I'll catch you all in another video next time. In a bit, thank you.